Hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard J and today we're checking out the Star Crash Fuzz and the Sidearm Overdrive by Cattle and Bread. <laughs> In an attempt to capture the art aesthetic and rock and roll spirit of the 1970s, the lovely cats at Catlin Bread just released a whole new series of pedals called the Star Crash 70s collection. Um, a lot of the collection is actually just new looks on some already established pedals. So you have a new look for the SFT, the Adeneco, the Valcoder, and uh, my personal favorite, I love the Cats and Koenig as well. Uh, but to add and round out the whole series, they introduced two brand new pedals, namely these two, the Star Crash Fuzz and the Side Arm. Now the Star Crash Fuzz is all about going for that uh, silicon style 70s fuzz face. Uh, really, really precise and all of that craziness that comes with it. It's a lovely pedal. And then the other one is the Side Arm, uh, their look on a of course, the famous uh, Ibanez Tube Screamer circuit. Uh, they've done some really interesting things with the tone circuit, uh, with the use of the tone and the mids knob, which we'll dig into lots and lots of fun. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna give these two new pedals a run. I got myself a Fender Telecaster with my J-Mod signature pickups and string joy strings. I'm plugging it into a Tone King Imperial. Oh my gosh, let's get groovy, have some fun and rock out. <laughs> We're all wired up and ready to rock and roll. Star Crash Fuzz, side arm overdrive. We'll go one at a time. Let's start with that fuzz, because that's where I like to go. <laughs> we have a fuzz face style fuzz circuit. Um, it's a silicon fuzz, so it's temperature uh, safe. You can bring it anywhere. It's not gonna be finicky on you, very dependable. And it's also going to be very sensitive to your volume knob, so keep it right in the front of your chain. Beautiful classic sounds. We have a low cut, which is gonna get rid of some of that low end, and we have a bias knob, which is gonna re-bias the thing uh, to give you some different uh, gain characteristics from a sludgy all the way to uh, quite gated and spittery. All right, so let's hear. This is my guitar tone, clean. <laughs> And this is the Star Crash. That's some beautiful aggressive stuff. You'll notice there's no fuzz knob on this thing because with those old fuzz face circuits, you pretty much keep the gain on 10, do all the magic with your volume knob. As I turn down the volume knob, um, it'll get a little tighter and then it'll start to clean up. Check this out.
put a little bit of the add an echo uh, delay just to give us a little bit more magic there. Uh, so let's go play with some of the knobs. The low end really doesn't do much uh, with the cut until you get pretty aggressive with it. Let's see what it does. just want to use it to get rid of some of that subharmonic muck. I usually keep it like around there. That'll be perfect. Now with the bias, it'll start changing the gain characteristic from something quite sludgy. <laughs> to something more spittery. Lovely, lovely. Now let's move over to the side arm. This is a tube screamery style pedal uh, with some really interesting things going on with the EQ. So we have volume, we have drive, and then we have a tone knob and a mids knob, and they're actually center detented. So what's gonna happen here is the tone knob is now a, uh, a uh, what do you call it, a seesaw style, you know? So when I turn it up, it's gonna cut lows and it's gonna add highs, and then when we go down, it's going to do the opposite. It's gonna add lows and cut the highs. It's centered around that 1K mark. But if you do want to bring out that classic uh, Ibanez mid-range, that like kind of like seven to 800, this right here, you could actually boost the mids, that classic Tube Screamer thing, or you can uh, cut it as well. But we'll keep it nice and neutral and see what it does. <laughs> Electric. I love the sound of this actually. <laughs> Let's hear what the mids knobs do. You could dip it and really focus on that 1K.
That's the Sidearm and the Star Crash by Catelyn Bread. Well, that's it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already and check out the links in the description below. If you want to hear my review on uh, these two pedals, check it out on Patreon because that is where I do all my reviews sponsored by the Patreon supporters. Um, all my other videos are right here on YouTube. My question for the subscribers today is, uh, if you could pick one, what would you go for? Would you go for the fuzz or would you go for the overdrive? Right in the comments section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.